jar. Add three whole cloves for domination. Fill the jar with... Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is a short video. Okay, so you don't need banishing herbs in a freezer spell because you're not banishing the person. And you don't need domination herbs in a freezer spell because you're not dominating them. And I wouldn't use cloves in a domination spell anyways. This is a freezer spell. The idea is that you are freezing the person. Um, you are stopping them from harassing you or bullying you. You're freezing them in their tracks so they can't do anything. Okay. Um, on the petition, what you would need to do is just date the petition. Put the person that you want to freeze, the person that you want to stop. Okay. Uh, right there, write their name on the petition. So let's say for simplicity's sake, their name is John Smith. You would say something like, John Smith has stopped harassing me. Okay, because of course you want the petition to reflect your will and intention in this particular freezer spell. You want the person to stop what they're doing. Another thing is that you don't want to put anyone's personal effects into the container that you don't want frozen out, right? So, um, I mean, like, let's say there's another person that, you know, might be put into this spell that doesn't have to be put in there, okay? Make sure they're not in there. And so just make sure that whatever you put in that container, your petition or any personal effects from the person that you want to freeze out, it's just their name, on the petition and their personal effects in the container that's going to go in the freezer. Um, and just as just a quick something that I wanted to say is that banishing and domination, those kinds of things are pretty serious kick-ass spells. Do you know what I mean? They, they can be really serious and they can harm someone. Uh, so don't use the banishing herbs and don't use the domination herbs. Okay. Bye.